Hey there guys, I'm back. Uh, coming at show with part 3 of our tutorial let's play last time. We got the merchant. And, uh, yeah. We're uh, ready to continue. So, Morty wanted some cactus stuff, so I've been working at getting some cactus. I don't have too much yet. I think he could use this the most, so I'll make this first. Let's toss it in the chest. We went exploring in a cave yesterday, and we almost didn't make it out. But today I was going to dedicate a lot of the time to going fishing, because, you know, fishing is really helpful. I guess you can have that up there. Nah, I don't want that. Let's put it there. So, the reason I said I was really lucky in the last episode is because there's actually- Oh. I wanna sell you. Cool. But I'm really lucky because I have a fishing pond, like, right outside of my house. This is true or not, but I've heard that when it rains, fishing is better. Catch of the day, seaweed. Ooh. I'm just gonna use all of our bait, and then when it's all out, I'm gonna open the crates. If we do get more than what I just got. Maybe I should make like a reinforced iron fishing hole. Capture these guys while I'm here. I think our red squirrel is actually worth more. So we got, ooh, a bunch of lesser healing potions and a shine potion. That's cool. Now we have all this stuff to sell. Got some pretty good catches today. Let's see how much we can make. So we start, let me just make sure if we start out with a stack and that. Uh... Making sure all the silver's in one chest. So we start out with about 31 silver. Let's see how much we can add on. Hopefully we can get back up to 50 again. Wow! Yeah, it looks like fishing is going to be a big income. We, we literally made 62 off that, and I used one piece of it. <clears throat> yeah, fishing's gonna be really helpful through this playthrough. Wow, we, we actually almost have a gold, that's impressive. Yeah, let's just go fishing more. Um, 
I guess Morty can do the mining, and I can just go fish. An interesting thought is, I'm gonna head uh, this way for a little bit, and see if I can collect any animal worms, etc. I think it's funny seeing them just like fly out like cow. And it's nice getting like the seven silver goldfish. Dude, this would be a great place to fish, too. Damn. I got a lot of cool spots. I might make this a big fishing world. <clears throat> Here comes our first uh, death monster, as I like to call them. Oh shit, I didn't realize what was happening. I only dropped like six over. And I did get um some bait, so I'd say it was worth it. Unless I got a goldfish to sell. Make some of that silver back. Wow, we got a godly how fast is this swing? I forgot. Well let's compare the damage. Oh wow. Yeah, let's just sell that. And it's godly. That that's good. I'm glad that we got a hold of that. That's fifteen silver. And yeah, there we go. Cool. Somebody just put the. Actually, hell, we might have enough lenses to run over there and make a uh, eye of Cthulhu. And I'm pretty sure those sell for something. They might have no value, but uh, if they do, that'd be good. Let's test out the zombie arm. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hello, raincoat zombie. Yeah, that, that's good damage. It's kind of dark right now. Super dark. I can barely see myself. zombie arm cells or anything. I don't really want to get rid of it yet, but maybe when I uh, get something better. It's so dark, I can barely see what's happening. Why are there so many monsters right now? I mean, I know it's night, but geez, I just wanted to get like a tree mine. And the world's just like, no. Whatever, I think I got enough wood. 
Plus I got some lenses, which is always nice. If I angle this right, I think I can just shoot out of the one hole. I'm like, yeah, there we go. Mine got sniffed. It's funny, we're on part three of this let's play already, and I I'm literally still fishing. <laughs> Stronger, 66, 60. Yeah, it is a little bit. Oh man, they they're they're trying to get in though. So, I mean, this way I can fish easier. But like, I guess this would help against most things. But eventually, one of these things is gonna get in, and I'm gonna have to stop fishing. Wait, can they? I don't think they can. They're having issues. Looks like they'd be able to, but their pattern doesn't let them. That was a wooden crate for a second, and I got really excited, and then I found that it was an old shoe. Rest in peace. I know, what was inside that crate? Ooh! Silk, slush, and fossils, and there's something more useful. That's good. And I'm pretty sure we can sell that for like a gold or something. Did I, did I just. Oh. Ooh. That could have been bad. I guess. Oh, cool, we also got that. Wow! I think there was some silver in there. Alright. But yeah, now we definitely have a gold. Why am I getting tin cans? Maybe it's because I fished in the same pond so much. Wait, does, does the extractor have, like, trash? Does it make trash better? Now's your time to shine, Tin Can. Tin Can Sam. Okay, go to stay. Oh shit, I can use that to get into the Kraken. 
I don't know if five bombs will do it, but I think it actually might. Let's let's go try that. That's an interesting thought. Oh shit, you know what I should have done? Well actually I think the eyes can get through platforms. And then, whenever I come by, I can just patch and unpatch that little hole. And that can be my fishing area. Anyway, I'm gonna take these bomb fish and uh, make use of them in the crimson. I'm just gonna grab my hammer and deposit the money and sell the bass and stuff. Actually, no, let's do that in the next episode. Alright, I'm gonna end it out here. Um, sorry for the rough transition, guys. I, you're probably hoping to go to the corruption. Or the crimson, rather. I will uh, see you next time.